The prophecy has been made by the Lord. It has to be spoken and reach your ears. And then you say, I'm copying prophecy. From who? Exposing the master's voice. Hello, this is Pastor Gideon and this is Kingdom Matters. If you are interested in the word of God, you are in the right place. Now, have you seen this lady who is trending for calling out Pastor T.D. Jakes and many other pastors? Yes, she's a fraud. I can tell you for a fact that there are at least two problems with her supposed revelations that are supposed to be coming from the Lord. And as a result, she cannot be trusted and the way she's saying cannot be from the Lord. Now, I'm not going to waste time. The first problem is that she has factual errors. And secondly, I have proofs that she copies her contents from the Internet. It is not coming from the Lord. Now, I know many people are elated because she's exposing the sins of some men of God and calling judgment on many people. And so it's like I said is a revival now i don't have problems with that but to go to sniff information from the internet only to present it as a prophecy or a direct message from god is a no-no now let's talk about the first problem where i said she has a lot of factual errors with what she's presenting this man said the lord said the world is not a globe but rather a flat surface like a pancake she actually said it is like a disc take a watch the Lord says that the shape of his world that he has made is round, but it is a disc. It is not a ball. He says, look up, Google the definition of a disc. It is a flat, thin, round object. Think of a pancake. He's saying to me, I'm writing all this down. This prophecy took hours to write down. He says, think of a pancake. What is its shape? Is it standing up and round? Or is it mashed flat and round? So is my world that I have made. It is a disc and not a ball. And if you, there is scripture for that. The Lord says that he seated above with the world at his feet. The Lord is saying that his word is a physical wall, a physical ice wall that rims the entire world around like a border. It is a border and there is no crossing this border. You cannot break this rim, which extends all the way up into the sky as a dome. It goes from edge to edge as a teacup turned upside down on its saucer. You cannot break the rim. You cannot break the dome. Simple English is you get on any ship you get on any ship that is leaving this dimension that we live in, where the world is flat and round and has a rim, just like a flat round thing. And then it has, what did he say? He said it has a teacup turned upside down on its saucer. It is covered. So it's round and the rim simply means the edge. The word of God is the edge. So no humans with donkeys, because we are surely going there in this prophecy. Nobody with their dog, nobody with children. What are these that I'm doing as I'm moving my hand around and around in the, in the, in a circle, I'm establishing the rim. I'm establishing in your hearing the laws. The rim is better known in the scripture as thou shalt not. That is the edge. So everything that the Lord is saying here that I'm reading for you is absolutely 100% biblical. If you cross the law, if you cross the rim, though you live, you are dead. Though you live, you shall perish because the wages of sin, what is sin? Crossing outside of the boundary. I know there may be some conspiracy theorists on this channel claiming the earth may be flat and all that, but none of them have presented any concrete proof or gone to the edge of the earth where it ends to tell us that this is where it ends so that we can have valuable data in order to substantiate these claims. The evidence out there all are in favor of a round and a spherical earth. All other planets that have been seen with mega telescopes are round. Also, if it were flat, if the earth were flat, some places wouldn't experience day whilst others have night. And then there's gonna going to be different seasons here and there. Every proof shows that the earth is spherical, it's round. But according to her, her prophecy from the Lord, it is like a pancake, it's a disc. And that is a factual error. 
if you compare it with science the lost word cannot go to what has been seen and observed do you understand so she cannot lie on the lord basically that's what i'm saying and that is something to be worried about so for her to claim that the earth is flat and that it is a word from god she has proven that the god she is listening to from is not the creator and doesn't know as much and no matter what you think about the scripture she quoted it doesn't mean the earth is flat. Isaiah 66 says, That's here the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? When God says the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool, it's not talking about in physical things. Like we saw in our previous video, it is not it doesn't mean it is flat. What he's just saying is a spiritual it's a metaphorical statement to show how grand and great God is, basically. Now, let's move to the second problem, where I said she's fishing out information from the internet and dishing it out as prophecy. Already, I'm not the first person to notice this. There is word out there that she is getting information from the internet, and I don't doubt it at all. And she has also responded to that. Take a watch. I'm going to, pr to play now the prophecy prayer clip where I'd asked everybody else to be silent on the line, where you would hear the Holy Spirit saying by revelation that T.D. Jakes abuses minors, that he is a pedophile. It's small boy. He rapes young boys. He rapes boys between the ages of 10 and 15. That's his preference. He doesn't like the small, small baby because he's a big man. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison Marquette. Madison, thank you for agreeing to be in on the show. I really appreciate you taking the time out to be on Truth Unveiled and to uh, uh, agree with these, uh, me asking you these tough questions. We want to allow you to be able to defend yourself and give your side of the story. So thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, have you named any other people besides uh, pastors? I mean, yes. This is where you copy the information from. For the first video you publish about T.D. Jakes, is no more than one year old. Shame on you, for asking for donations, for the work of someone else, and not only that, but you are saying that the Lord, gives you prophecy. Shame on you. So, let's look at your first YouTube channel also. No, no T.D. Jakes prophecy here. And what happened to your master? No master voice, here. But celestial. Revival. You are a scam, and you know it. And then you say I'm copying prophecy. From who? God says this is not the era of JFK. This is literally a reference to an assassination. George Bush Sr. and Lyndon Johnson did that. It is on my blog. They did that. The prophecy is called Redacted Information Revealed. Prophecy? What prophecy? This is not prophecy, for it has been on the internet for very long time, before you even heard of it. And then you say I'm copying prophecy. From who? Here is from who. This is your Lord and God. His name is not Jesus, but Google. Please next time get your facts right. I simply write down things, I publish them, and then there's no problem in telling you. Now, when you look at TDJ's issue, it had been on the internet as far back as 2021 November, yet she just brought it back just September 2022 and passed it on as prophecy. Now, if you are an internet person, it will not be news to you because it was already being speculated. Now let's come to the African prophecies where I have concrete information on, where I can tell for a fact that she fished this for information on the internet. If you bother to do a little light searching on YouTube, you will find some of the most disturbing clips. If you bother to do a little light searching on YouTube, you will find some of the most disturbing clips. If you bother to do a little light searching on YouTube, you will find some of the most disturbing clips. People in South Africa go to church and the pastors spray them with bug spray. So raid we have here in the United States, they spray them with bug spray and tell them that they are spraying the demons out of them. This is 
toxic chemicals they spray right in the faces of people another scandal that they had in south africa is that a uh, pastor had his members he said that he was going to demonstrate the power of the holy spirit and then he told his members to go outside and eat grass and these people became almost seized with the desire to consume actual grass they ran out they laid on the ground they began to pull the grass on the grounds of the church out of the earth and shove this chlorophyll meal into their mouths this is the kind of bewitchment that is happening in south africa and god says that this thing is diabolical in the extreme first of all people are not coming to the church because they love god they're not coming to the churches because they're interested in getting to know the true god they're coming to the church simply because the pastor is trending in the newspapers he's also trending on social media he's also trending word of mouth come to this church it's so electric and it's so wonderful god says that people are going to the church in south africa because they want to find out the secret to wealth these pastors are extremely wealthy but as i continue delivering this prophecy it will be revealed why they are wealthy so people are coming to find out the secret of how to get their marriage fixed which is something that people do here in the united states they're coming to church to find out you know how to get their child into the best universities they're coming to find out how to be a successful business person they're coming because they want to be as nicely dressed as the pastor and his tight click of protocols or they're just coming because the church has a trending presence in the nation of South Africa, and therefore they want to be associated with that church. That's just celebrity church attendance, which is something that we are very familiar with here in the United States. But God says the fact that you are coming to church for pastor worship is offensive to him. Now, she prophesied that Aflukau claimed to be able to raise the dead and Bushiru is selling the blood of Jesus and oils as the original from the land of Israel and also the original blood of Jesus Christ. God is going to drop kick these pastors, drop kick these false prophets, Alf Lakau, claiming that you can bring people back from the dead. Shepherd Bushiri selling items in bottles and talking about it's the original blood of Jesus or it's the original anointing oil of Calvary. There's no repentance in the hearts of these people. If you don't separate from these people, when the father begins to drop kick, guess who's going to go sailing into the atmosphere along with these men? You that follows them, you that flocks to their churches. And this she published September 9, 2022. Now, with this very case, when it happened, where people were accusing Bushiro for selling the blood of Jesus, I can call myself as an eyewitness. And I will show you my Facebook post as proofs. I was actually present in the system and following every detail of how things were rolling up. And I could tell you that for a fact, it was a lie. Now, it was somewhere mid-2016. There was a false publication on some blogs going around in the, on the internet that Prophet Bushir was selling bl the blood of Jesus Christ for an amount. And he was claiming that it was the real blood of Jesus. And many blog and bloggers took it up. Even many vloggers called Bushir out. And uh, uh, as far back as 2017, people were still talking about that situation. And Bushir himself came out to clear the air that there's nothing like that. Now you can see it with this post of mine. Look at it. Now, I shared his video where he was clarifying the air that he didn't sell the blood of Jesus in his church, which was publicized on their website. I think their website is down, so you're not going to see the picture, but you will see the things that I wrote and the caption that was given to it. Look at it. The caption is Major One Prophet Bushiri comments on blood of Jesus selling rumors. And he said, read article. Have you seen it? Yes, this is my post. I shared a tag in a friend who also thought Bushir was selling the blood of Jesus and he was actually bashing him. So I, I shared it to him to let him retract what he had written because it was wrong. Now, how did I know it was a lie? So I'm going to tell you a little story. From mid-2014 to ending of 2016, I was literally glued to prophetic channel and also to many, many prophetic uh, ministries. 
I was on a serious quest at that time to study the prophetic ministry because I had seen some people prophesy and I wanted to know the ins and the outs. I had also um, encountered some people who had fake prophecies. And so at that point, I wanted to dig down to know the ins and the outs. And the one who was prominent for prophecy at the time, 2014, 2015, 2016, was Prophet Bushiro. And so I had my little TV always on prophetic channel. I watched him almost every time i was not changing channels unless i'm going to watch another prophetic person i watched his broadcast his services live most of them from the from the diplomatic service to everything i was watching everything i even used to watch the real broadcast to see how the things turned out i wanted to see whether he was faking it whether it was real now i'll come into the prophetic ministry one of these days and i will show you the things i learned when I talk about prophetic stuff and people say it's prophecy, you don't know what goes in and out. They don't understand where I have come from. So let's come to Bushiru. I saw how the ministry grew from a few hundred people when he moved to Pretoria and how it grew up to become ten tens of thousands of people on TV. I was watching everything happening live. I knew all his jargons, all his styles most of the workers who take the microphone and receive testimonies and also when he's prophesying all the gymnastics not in a bad way all the things he does i knew all of them now in his church he sold things he sold almost everything you can think about he sold um lion of judah oil he sold they had bangles they had a lot of things in the church but one thing that was never mentioned that was being sold in the church was the blood of jesus and that was the thing that he was being accused of for selling and that is the only thing he came out to clear there was lion of judah oil there were mantles in fact there were so many things but not the blood of jesus so when the blog started posting it i knew they were lying and that's one of the times i realized that you don't take everything out there um hurriedly you have to make sure you investigate them because they made it come across as if he was actually selling it and they put captions of blood of jesus with a man on it and it looked like bushiro but if you look at it critically you realize that it is not bushiro at the time so many people arose if at that time many people were attacking bushiri at least that was the report that was given in the ministry all the time when Bushiru preaches he will tell you this person is doing this or he may not mention a name but he will show that this attack is going on this attack personal attack a uh, robbery attack all those things he was mentioning them in every service now to date it's still on the internet that Bushiru saw the blood of Jesus but I can tell you for a fact that there's not one authentic picture of him with the blood of Jesus bottle or anything of that sort Unless it is photoshopped, there's no one authentic picture of him selling anything of that. And Bushiri services were live. You can go and check all his videos online. Everything was live. But then, there's not one picture that shows that he was selling the blood of Jesus. So get this. This is the interesting part. As much as I wholeheartedly, listen to me, I'm wholeheartedly against the selling of things in church. And I fought Bushiru and prophet angel in a lot of things i can tell you he never sold the blood of jesus christ and that is what we should be able to differentiate the fact that the man did a lot of wrong things doesn't mean we should cluster everything even if he didn't do it according to my perspective i believe he did a lot of wrong things with the selling of things but that doesn't mean if he didn't sell something, we should bundle everything together and say he sold it. So why is the lady saying that Bushiru is selling something called the blood of Jesus and saying that's the original blood of Jesus? It is The answer is one. It is because that is what is on the internet. If you Google the major sins of Bushiru, there are about five or maybe six. They're walking in the air, which people believe is a hoax. They're walking in the air. If you follow Bushiru, you will see this. Angels manifesting in the church. The iPad capturing people in, in the spirit prophecy. Calling fire from heaven. And selling the blood of Jesus. And maybe the second one will be that you are having affairs with some ladies. These are the major sins and the things that Bushiru was accused of. But the blood of Jesus was never so. Do you understand? So I cannot tell for the others. But the issue of the blood of Jesus, it was never there. But because this lady served the internet about Bushiru and prophets in South Africa, she has fallen into the error of the liars of the bloggers. And as at the time, 
she gave this prophecy to prophet in South Africa. If you know, you know that Bushir had moved, I think, 2020 to Malawi, his home country, because of the issues he was having at South Africa. But this was actually prophecy for prophet in South Africa, where if you check the caption, prophesying to Aflukau and others, saying that judgment is coming upon them. Nobody can change my mind and I think her prophecies are mixed with content from the internet. Although she claims they are all prophecies given directly from the Lord. You understand? If you are going to have mistakes with facts and also you are going to say things that are only in the internet which are never true, it means that you cannot be trusted. Many of the things you are just scanning the internet and pushing them forward as prophecies. And because people are gullible, people will not search deep, people will not think deep, many people will jump on the bad wagon and say that it is true. Yes, condemn the people, preach against the people, but not all that glitters is gold. And so... You have to listen to her with a pinch of salt. Don't take her seriously. You understand? Because if she can take this one from the internet, tell me what else is she not taking from the internet? Now, let's go into my post from 2016. Look at it. I want you to look at it. I'm going to be reading it. It says, Abiola, would you say you were hasty in publicizing a false story of a man of God or you were being malicious? Please always verify before sharing anything about anyone, especially when it is not positive. And I guess you will also share his reply to what you shared on Facebook and not assume your mistake can be ignored. You know why? He was lambasting Bushiri for selling the blood of Jesus Christ. And then I tagged him when Bushiri responded. So if you check the response, that is a prophetic live.org but i think the website is down now now if you go into the comments you see he came and commented say Gio, i did not write the news i read it on the net and shared on my wall based on what i read the information was not different from the headline of the news item why then am i being faulted i was faulting because it wasn't true but the bloggers were carrying around and he just read from blogs and started bashing the man of god and so for now when you hear this you have to be very very careful you have to make sure that your source is authentic if not you may be running on something that is not true read what the writer wrote if it differs from the headline if it had in happened and how sure are you that the man of god is not doing damage control because we are not god and we're not all there when he's alleged to have said that the founder and leader of ecg ministries professor pe bushiru major one bushiru has slain the blood of jesus so i think at this point he was quoting the article according to reports the blood is being sold in 500 milliliters and 750 milliliter plastic bottles one congregant who confessed to be a lawyer member of ECG ministry revealed that the blood of the blood heals every calamity and problem. We have been using anointing oil, which is called the Lion of Judah, before and have been using anointed mantles, bracelets, and DVD, but this time the power is released. Major one introduced the blood of Jesus, which is real blood of Jesus, which was extracted at Calvary when the Son of God was crucified. You understand? Now, when you try to open the link to the blog, that one also doesn't open. It looks like over the period of, um, is it up to nine years? So from 2016, yes, until now, many of the blocks are, are down. So let me continue. Prophet Bushiru says the blood of Jesus at $2,000 per bottle. As sons and daughters of Major One, we don't really care what people will say. We understand this revelation as a ministry ecg family people are on the move to drag our father's name into dispute but god elevated him to address our problem the blood of jesus is being sold at our worship center the smallest bottle is 500 milliliters at uh, cost 20,000 round that's 1360 dollars and the 750 milliliters bottle costs are 30 30 000 round that's two thousand dollars we don't care about the price but the results as we are speaking the blood of jesus has resorted five people and healed hundreds since lunch efforts to get comments from ecg spokesperson were fruitless since he is reported to be in mauritius on holidays mzanzi life so this was the blog so i also came back and, re and responded this so that you know that we follow that's seven years ago right 2016 this thing is in 2016 if you check it 2016 july so 2016 to 2024 that's yeah almost eight years so good you didn't write it but sharing it means you concur with the authors without doing due diligence and share in their transgressions if they are at fault before you share 
you need to verify the credibility of the authors. Many write to get traffic and make money. It's not doing damage control because I follow him on the TV regularly. And apart from the oil and water, there's nothing like blood of Jesus. Better still, why share something you can't prove by yourself? Then you think this can be damage control, but what you shared can be deliberate attacks to the fame. You understand? So that, I think this is the video of him capturing somebody on the iPad. So what am I going to say? With this, from my point of view, she can't be trusted to be speaking for the Lord and she must repent and go back to learning the word of God and preaching the word of God instead of this prophecy, prophecy thing she is doing. One day, I'm going to take time to look into the dark world of the prophetic and I know you will be shocked. This is just one of them. But I've experienced a lot of things that go on in the prophetic. And one of these days, it's going to come out. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Be careful out there. God bless you.